Hello, everyone, and welcome in for some more Risk Global Domination. I almost said Territorial. Oh my god, I was recording a little bit of Territorial earlier. Um, welcome back to Sunday Snipes, my Sunday episodes where I go into a random ranked lobby and play somebody on their map and their settings, try to beat them on their home turf. Um, I joined this lobby late. Uh, we are the purple player in sixth place. We are playing on Spaceport Sigma. We are playing Fixed Cards. And alliances are on, blizzards are on, and everything else is normal. Just fixed Spaceport Sigma with alliance on. And the important thing about this map... There's a the old thumbnail, maybe. The important thing about this map is bonuses. Uh, progressive bonuses matter here, as well as on fixed. So we need to look at the, bon the blizzards, see what they cut off. This is a brilliant bonus for somebody. Somebody will take that and expand out. Uh, what else we got? This is a brilliant bonus, because you could one point guard and then come out. I might end up look. This is a hard bonus to take, though, quickly. But I'm going to get six troops minimum turn one, maybe even seven. So maybe I can actually make a decent run at this bonus. Uh, there's also this blizzard here cutting this section off. So this is another possible bonus I could go for. This one's a plus six. This one's a plus six. And this one's much easier to take. So depending where everybody goes, we'll see. I might put all my troops here and just take these this section out. Stack out here and look to take this next turn. Be a one point guard and I can work my way out. The only downside is I will be encountering fights with whoever gets this bonus. If two people fight for this bonus, it might actually be great for me to do that. Uh, one thing also I didn't recognize until the lobby was about to fire, and I I read it up anyways. The host of the lobby is this man here from Great Britain. We also have this player from Great Britain. And we also have this player from Great Britain. So we're going to be paying attention to that. Alliances are lagging as they go through. <clears throat> we also don't want this guy to get a bonus right away if we're going to try to be here. Okay, red and yellow both went in here. He hit... Okay, you uh, uh, yeah, United Kingdom player rolling my four stack immediately instead of a green one or a white two. That's really poor play. Why are you playing that poorly? Are you suiciding? Because I don't think that's smart. Six. Uh, if I still have 12 or more territories, I'll get seven troops. I'll easily be able to take these three territories and stack back here. And then next turn, I'll take this. And then if I'm lucky, pink kind of has to fight white a little bit, comes in and doesn't have a three here. And I'll be able to actually take that bonus. Green's looking to maybe take a bonus this turn with perfect dice. Seven, six, five, four, one. If he does, I hope somebody breaks him. Oh my God. Perfect roll in the eight on two also. Yeah, uh, it looks like he's got the bonus. White would like an alliance, okay. Uh, red's already bought it. Okay, good for you, Mr. United Kingdom. Roll my four stack and quit immediately. Brain damage. Do I get to do an eight on two and have perfect dice? Because I would love it. Uh, here we go. Perfect dice. Oh! It worked. Okay. Perfect dice. Perfect dice. I cannot believe that that worked. I'm going to look to take that bonus next turn. And I grow from there. I'm really hoping yellow breaks this. Green. No! Oh, he, no, he can't even get to green. He can't even get to green. He, he put all of his troops here to take two territories. Green gets this bonus. Unless... No, red doesn't break him. Pink or white? Pink or white can't even break him. Green's going to win this game. It's fixed. It, this is important to take bonuses early. Green is going to snowball hard. Well, pink's going to take this bonus. No, he's not. He's going to fail. Single dice. Single dice slow roll? 
Nope. I can take this bonus and stack here, and I can wipe him out next turn with my bonus six. And then I can have this bonus and this bonus with a one-point guard. Okay. This is really good for me. White's going to get a bonus. Fine. I'm playing from a position of these guys can't really mess with me. I really hope the red bot doesn't add in here. That would be so annoying. But this one's not touching any stacks, so he should add somewhere else. Presumably it should add over here and try to work on this bonus, depending on what kind of bot it is. Oh, in here. It's fine. Oh, break him! Down. Down, down. Oh my god, that would have been amazing. <laughs> so close. That, that three on one would have made all the difference in the world for me this game. <laughs> Green's going to get his plus 12 two times in a row before I get my first bonus. He's already worked. He's... If he's really greedy, he stacks here and takes this whole bonus. But he's not. What's he doing now? He's going to go for this one? Like, Yellow, you have screwed up now. Now because Green held this, by the time you eventually do take this, which you probably won't even, because he's just going to come in very next turn, he's just going to swallow that and own this whole section with a one-point guard. Because of this blizzard... If green takes this bonus, this bonus, and has this bonus, he can one point guard it from here. Three bonuses. And that is just un unrecoverable from, unless he gets caught doing stupid rolls or, or overextending later. Lost a troop, lost a troop. That's really bad. And lost three three on ones where I lose a troop. That's really bad. If Pink uses his five troops to six on four of me, uh, my game's over, and we can just go next. That's about the gist of this. He needs three here, though, to get the three on one, or the four on one. Yeah, yellow's already lost. And he didn't path. He should have hit this one, one, and one, and then stopped. And then he'd have an extra territory and be able to finish next turn. So his pathing's not precise, and his decision-making is giant, uh, giant errors behind it. I can't believe I lost three troops there. I've never lost three troops in a row doing perfect slider three-on-ones. Um, I make a 14, 13. I think I come in and crush pink. I don't think I have a choice. And hope he has, doesn't have a big trade on three. Because if he does, he puts it on the two and gets me back. I hope I, 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 hope I just come through, crush him, and he quits. And if he doesn't, then I need to finish him here before he trades on four. With my luck, he has a trade on three. But if I do it right and he doesn't have a trade on three and I don't get screwed by the dice, I can knock him out of here and have these two bonuses at middle, uh, at worst. And he could trade and come through here, I guess. I don't know. It's, it's unfortunate. I'm going to have to make this enemy and we're going to have to make this fight. Yeah, green's going to come in and kill yellow now soon. He's going to take this bonus first. But then he comes into yellow. Yellow is drastically screwed up by... turn That first turn that green had a bonus, yellow had to break and slow him down. And by not doing that one move, green is going to snowball out of control right now. Uh, he put the 10 here thinking he can do something with it, but he can't. He actually can't take this bonus. Green is... That's a giant error. Uh... Okay, green is lesser experienced. There is a chance to win this game against him. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, rat -tat, rat -tat, Andy, go. I'm going to have to uh, make you hate me. I need to uh, kill you. And uh, stop losing troops. Perfect dice on this one? Perfect dice. Perfect dice on this one. Only lost a two. Perfect dice. If he doesn't have a trade, and I one point guard here, I need to do that. I need to pray he doesn't have a trade. I got incredibly good dice. Our alliance is over. Good. 
If you don't have a trade and green doesn't come through with his two, offer green an alliance. Yellow has a trade. Okay, so he's actually going to be kind of confrontational with green here. <clears throat> I mean, green's just going to overwhelm him in a turn or two, but that will slow green down. He still doesn't take the bonus. Are you, what are you, kill guarding the red bot? We're playing fixed. Pink had the big trade on three. Why am I playing this game? Why are we playing this game? <laughs> I had to make the play I had to make, and that's just the way it goes. Uh, we lose now. Playing with unlucky circumstances. Right? I don't like, we didn't have an option there. You have to strike first in that scenario, or he strikes me, and then I lose. I got great dice. The, the big trade on three. Why does every time I play, my opponents have the big trade on three? I have the big trade on three, actually. So I get... If he doesn't roll that... Presumably I get six and ten. It's not over, over. I have the big trade on three. Since when? That should be enough to make him quit. Because then I can take all that and hold it. Yeah, red bot adds in there. What does green do? Down to 17 troops. Green can do whatever he wants. The whole board is his oyster. He can just come through, punch yellow. Yellow dies very quickly. Yellow didn't even take the bonus, so even if he doesn't hit yellow, yellow doesn't benefit from... I have no idea what yellow is doing. Felicia Flintlock is... Uh... I, I don't understand. White is chilling. This was the host, too. Did he hit that? Yeah, not surprised. And he chills, right? He doesn't want to overextend. I mean, if I'm him, I take it. Yeah, sorry, I'm offline. If you play poorly, then obviously you're going to be mad when you bad things happen to you, because you do stupid things. It's just the way the, the cookie crumbles there. Oh, now I got a bad roll. Unfortunate. Okay, Pink gets three troops on this turn. There's no way he's breaking all my bonuses. If green doesn't break them, we're good. We still won't win, probably. Pink really set us behind, but I mean, it's time for him to quit now. Make an alliance and send him a heart. <laughs> I had to go to war with Pink, and uh, not everybody's necessarily going to agree with that, but that's a... Uh, we both need the one-point guard on these bonuses to ever contend with Green once he gets all three of these and one-point guards from out here. Because <clears throat> then he takes this and has a two-point guard on these four, and he'll just be so big, and it's fixed cards. It's not progressive where I can bust through and break him and win in a... A speed battle, right? So my hope here is... Actually, is he slidering too? He's slidering. Alright, alright. Paying attention to you. Res 2. I hope that's not like Watch Res... No, Watch Res means not from Britain, I don't think. Glider blitzing over there. Feeding Red. Red trades. Damn it. Red didn't trade and took a fifth card. I would go for the kill if I get both bonuses. It's going to depend on what green does. I'm hoping green's focus is over here on yellow. It's also possible... No, I won't be able to get to this one. Hmm. White's got two bonuses behind a one-point guard, too. Well, sort of. Two-point guard, I guess. We get it. <clears throat> Pink is staying in the game just to hopefully get a trade on three to ruin me further. This guy is incredibly vindictive. Just quit the game and go next, bro. <laughs> you have lost. His entire goal, sitting with nine troops, is to get a trade and to hit, is to hit me with it. I already know. <clears throat> 
Green's going to get his third bonus, and he's going to have a six, a six, and a four, and I'll have a six, a four, and a four. Maybe I'm not done? Maybe I can hang on? I'm t I mean, I'm 30 troops behind. And he's got cards. Like, I'm... Maybe I'm not done. I'm so done. Yeah, now he's back to the one-point guard. <clears throat> I get 17, though. Do this. Three point. Boom. Uh, do this one. Make this a five. Boom. And you still only get three. So I'll bring that one forward to here. Oh, I guess he could go over and over. Whatever. Then it opens my stack up. How is this going to go? <clears throat> Pink gets a third card and opens my stack. He's actually killable. Okay, he's not opening it. Yeah, he's just taking a card and passing. He wants to kill me. Or he <laughs> wants to kill me. He wants to suicide me with a trade. Um, maybe Green gets greedy and takes this bonus and I can kill Pink for these... His three cards just from here? We'll see. White doesn't take the kill on red, he's just guarding from it, huh? Oh, he's taking yellow out. For the three. Well played. Okay. Okay, okay. We are down to five players. Does he use this trade to kill red for two cards? Uh... Whether it's worth or not, it's kind of a meh. He gets six troops. He could seven on three, and, if, and as long as he didn't have bad dice, he could do it. But he doesn't want to split that much. It's For two cards, it's still not really worth. And if you screwed that up, it'd be a full feed to me for a nice solid three cards on my turn, which would be great. I wish green allied with me, and uh, we could work... Like, I could take this, and he could go into white, and then I can try to... Uh, Betray him at the right moment, obviously. That is how you win with alliances. Some people are like, oh my god, you betrayed your alliance. And it's like, but it's winner take all game, bro. I mean, at some point, every alliance ends in a betrayal. That's how the game works. Like, you have to end the game by taking everybody out. If I can go first and second with somebody that worked with me and we had a good alliance, I've done it multiple times. But, I mean, sometimes people are like, I can't believe it, you you allied that guy, you're so shysty, and then you attacked him. It's like, yes. Oh, here it is. Yeah, game over for me. Okay. Pink stayed so he could watch this. This is smart. Like, as sad as I am about this, this is a really smart play. Oh, I still get this bonus. Whoa. So I should be playing for second now, um, or third. I'm not going to survive longer than white, I don't think. This is this entire thing is because white didn't add three troops and break him here. Or white, yeah, yellow. Yellow didn't add three and break him on that early bonus take. And he got perfect dice rolling an eight on two into a one, 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 one. <clears throat> so he just puts all that into just busting me, huh? What are the odds Pink has a big trade on three again and he puts it right in my butt? What are the odds? Do I have a trade? No. Pink doesn't have a trade, okay. I'm not gonna guard that anymore. He's gonna come through anyways. I didn't need to retake. Maybe I should have went for, like, weakening pink and red to the point they die quickly, but, uh... Maybe green... Like, I want green to be threatened by white. White is the same size as green, because green just hit me there. He's also attacked inefficiently. Hitting tons of ones. No slider, stuff like that. So him having all these bonus... And he had to hit, uh, yellow. 
Is he going for the kill on pink? Yes, he is. Good. Take the four cards. I would like that. Like that a lot. Goodbye, pink. Make alliance with pink. And then give him a heart as he dies if he accepts it. <laughs> no, you're not ruthless. I'm ruthless. All right, we need to kill red and then go out third. Apologies for this game not being the most interesting, but uh, we attempted to snipe a lobby. Uh, some of what happened was out of our control. I think we made the correct play, a cash or uh, going all in on pink and just banking on him not having a set on three. Because even if he had like a four set or a six set, it wouldn't have been that devastating, but he had the 10 set on three. Oh, was he going to kill red? Imagine he failed it. Okay, so that's gonna help. He's one-on-oneing -on to ensure perfect slider. Like, he's this guy is super going for the... Okay. He doesn't have the kill on me. Hit green. <laughs> uh, and a heart. He is the host. He knows what he's doing in these settings. He knows green's gonna probably... If green's smart, green punches white hard before white punches him. Green's gonna get 26 troops. He can make a 31 and come right through and obliterate white. And then he pretty much locks in the win. He could also put 8 here. come he or, or 10 here. And he splits off and breaks both my bonuses. And all of the rest on the 5. And he hits white. He's going through me. <clears throat> Green is going to lose this game to white because he's tunneling on the wrong person. I am not the threat to beat you. White is. I have 28 troops. Oops. 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 I mean, bro, you're making the biggest mistake ever. I still have this bonus. Why are you so desperate to break this one bonus from me? Oh, he wants to own it. This is not how you win fixed. So he's going to get, white is going to get, uh, 4, 6, and 8, 18, and 13. He's going to get 31 troops on his turn. Any guesses what white's going to do with his 31 troops? Because if you're white, the smart thing to do with your 31 troops is to make a 34 stack. Oh, he's also going to trade. 41, 45, 40, 40 something stack. Hits the one slider blitz, smashes the 20. One, six, one, 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 green's toast. Game's over. I can essentially king make if I, <laughs> if I went fully into white, I think green still loses. No, Green, uh, you are not smart, and you're going to suffer for it. If he... White could give me second. I've, I've signaled that I'm willing to work on green with you if you just want all of it on this three and right through the 27 and game's over. Is white smart enough to realize that? I have no, I am no threat to him, 121 to 22, in a fixed game. So knowing that, knowing that he should kill his only threat. Green is the only threat to beat him in this game. And now he's doing that. White is a smart player. And I knew he was. He should also hit the six and go all the way into the bonus. All the way. Yep. Well played. Good game. Yeah. So, <clears throat> some of your games are going to go absolutely abysmal. And you're going to make mistakes also in the start of the game. And bad things are going to happen. Bad luck's going to happen. But, uh, do what you can to place as high as you can. If you're trying to grow your rank... Sometimes you have to switch gears and play for second. If you're a weak, weak third, and there's two powerhouses, try to work with one of them on the other one, and they'll give you second a lot of the time. Look at this. He's going to hit my 10. He's Is he... St 
Yeah, Green, now you don't know what to do. Hmm. <laughs> Green, you moron. I, he's not a moron. He's, Green's not an experienced risk player, right? He's looking at me and my 30 troops, and then he's on 80 or 90, and White's on 80 or 90, and he's like, I'm going to kill the 30 troop guy, because he's a threat, or because I want another bonus. But no, it's not time for another bonus. It's time to end the game. Recognize when it's time to end the game. Get the jump on your opponent that is the threat, and crush them as hard as you can. That's all you have to do. Um, yeah, so I'm taking second. We're going to presumably get a decent roll there. Yeah, I I punch the crap out of green. He I give him a thumbs up, bro. Like you and me, give me a second and take take the green guy out. You recognize he's not a smart player, and you recognize that I knew how to get second when uh, I have no chance to win. If I had a small chance to win, I would have kept playing, but Green was blindsided by what was about to happen. And put all... You're getting 26 a turn, and you're, like, putting them all into me to run in and take this bonus. He didn't even break this bonus. Yeah, good game. So, the host of the lobby is going to be the winner of the game. And that doesn't often happen on Sunday Snipes, but... Uh, Looks like this man with the home field advantage didn't even have a great spawn. Yeah, I think he took this bonus qu first and used this bonus to take this one. All he did was start on the opposite side of the map from the player that got fed the win. And that's all he had to do. And then the player that got the fed the win didn't know how to capitalize and end the game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. It would be actually sick if Res2 was the person I was thinking of. They might know me anyways. I know so many people in the Risk community. I mean, it would not surprise me. Oh, oh. Victory! <laughs> you sucker. Good game. Yeah, we'll take that. I'll take a second. So, uh, things that I look at from this game. Um, I had to I had to go bad neighbor on pink before he did on me. The only reason that didn't work is he had a big trade on three. I mean, even though I had a big trade on three to come back, he used a big trade, and I had to use a big trade just to make a neutral and delay a turn. If he didn't have the big trade, I hold both and push him out so hard that his big trade can't hurt me. And then at that point, I'm growing at faster speed than white was, and at at least an equal pace to green. Or really close to an equal pace with green. And then, I'm not saying I win in that scenario, but the game goes much different than it did. But as soon as you recognize one player knows what they're doing, and alliances are on, if you have no chance to win, take your second. Sound like a broken record. I'll shut up now. I'll shut up now! You just click... Look at this little sad purple guy with five... The five troops. Und <laughs> Good game. Dice hate me. Under this little purple guy is a little button. You can click that button if you're not subscribed. Boom! <laughs> Alright, we're having our fun. <laughs> <laughs> We're having our fun. Good game. We'll take the second. Good game. Well played, bro. If I do catch you on this YouTube video, I'd love to hear about it. Love to see if I do know you. Great game. Great win. Cool. Interesting settings. Fixed, six, fixed Sigma. Spaceport Sigma. Really weird settings, but uh, he kills me and breaks our alliance. And it is what it is. I'll get over it. I'll just move on. Everybody has a first love. Uh, we have Intermediate. Beginner. Master, novice, beginner. Green is a beginner. I'm not shocked. Pink is a beginner. 
I'm surprised he didn't quit. I don't think Pink played poorly. I, I was surprised he didn't quit, though, when he only had nine troops. I think he was just staying around to be vindictive. Which means he's an emotional player. Which means he hasn't graduated to the level of top tier. Which, by his rank, you can probably guess that. Red was the host. No, no, Red wasn't the host. Red was, uh... White was the host. Duh. Whatever. Thanks for joining to the end of the video. We don't win them all. Please subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Have a great week.